Hi friends, do you want to control your Android phone with the Windows 10 PC? So you can easily do it with the Team Weaver. Team Weaver is now fully supporting the Android. So you need to go for the teamweaver.com and you need to go for the download Team Weaver and download it. And after download, you need to install it and open the Team Weaver app application. And in Team Team Weaver application, you need to be sign up for your Team Weaver account. It's for computers and contacts, or you need to be sign up here. Either go click on the sign up option to sign. You need to be select the option I don't have account and sign up for the one account for the team viewer. It's a free. And after sign up, you need to either sign it here. Now we, you need to be go on the your Android phone. So on your Android phone, you need to be search for the team viewer host in the Google Play. It's a team viewer host and install it. Accept the agreement. And after installation, you need to be open it. And after you need to be assign the device if you have no sign up means you not created account you can also create from here or after uh, because you already created in the pc so you need to be uh, enter your email id and password in the assigned devices <laughs> and after that click on the assigned devices as you seen here now it's a connected and now i need to be go for the login.teamviewer.com so on your Windows 10 PC, now navigate to login.teamviewer.com. It's a login.teamviewer.com. And after that, you need to be enter your email ID and password that you are using for the same account. And then you need to be verify your identity with your not uh, boot so after login it will be find your mobile phone also as you see here now my sony xperia is showing here because it's a connected then after click on the continue and select the option launch the application and now on your android phone you need to be allow this connection and after that one as you seen here in down it's now open as you seen here now it's a connecting and it's a connected same as you remember i left the same screen the login screen now i am here as you seen here i am easily able to control my android phone from my windows 10 pc and it's a perfectly it's not like uh, any means it's a just running as it is like it's running on your um, manually you are running so you can use your phone easily with the team ever and even you have option to apps if you wants to uninstall your apps you can also do it from remotely and many options you are here if you wants to uninstall any apps just select it and you have option to select the uninstall option so if you click on the uninstall it will be uninstalled you are able to see the processes and you are also able to see the setting option and in dashboard you have full information about your cpu your ram and all battery information and also your mobile model number in each of everything it will be shown to you in the main dashboard
and one another thing you can also transfer your files so you need to be tap on the file transfer and then after select your files that you want to transfer in the your android phone for this demonstration even you are easily able to create your folder also so you are able to create your folder in new directory and it seems works like a, your ftp server just as you seen here i just created one folder test folder and now if i am going to upload my files so it will be on the android phone and you need to be just drag and drop your files from your windows 10 pc to your android phone as you seen here it's easily uploaded so in this way you are easily able to control your android phone with the windows 10 pc so hope you like my videos please subscribe